What's up everyone, Jeremy Try here, hope you all are doing well. Welcome to episode number one of Try Talk in a Boot. So before we get into the show, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I've gained a few new subscribers over the past few months and I just wanted to say I'm grateful for you for being here and thank you for checking out one of my videos and deciding to subscribe. If you're new to this channel, I'm very passionate about getting beginners into the sport of triathlon. So I do a lot of beginner triathlete tips, videos, and also document my swim, bike, run, training, and racing adventures. So if you're into any of that and are not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. So Try Talking to Brew is going to be a weekly show right here on my YouTube channel. It's going to be pretty informal. Think of it as a chat between you and me. I mean, I have my notes right here. I have my beer right here. If you want, you can have a beer with me as well or any kind of drink. So I can be having a drink. You can be having a drink. We're chilling. We're having a good time. And maybe this could be the start of something new. So there's going to be three parts to the show. The first part of the show is going to be training updates. In this part of the show, I'm going to be giving you an update on how my swimming, biking, and running went for the week. If I'm training for a race or if I'm following some kind of training program, I'm going to let you know how it went what went well, what went wrong. I'm just gonna keep it real, you know. I'm gonna have those weeks where I'm gonna have good quality training. And then there's gonna be those weeks where I didn't really do much training at all. And I'm gonna update you whether I have a good week or a bad week and really just keep it real on the show. The second part of the show is going to be Q&A. So I'm going to be answering questions from my Instagram, from Twitter, from my YouTube comments, from my website. So if you aren't following me on any of my social media, be sure to hit me up. I'll link to all of my social media links down in the description below. Or maybe I'll put it on the screen over here somewhere. So feel free to ask me any questions around swimming, biking, or running, or whatever else in general that you might want to ask me about. And if I feel that the answer could be beneficial to everyone out there as well, then I'll answer the question right here on the show. So the third part of the show is going to be shout outs. This might be my favorite part of the show. I'm going to be shouting out anyone who has left a review on my podcast going to be shouting out anyone who's left a thoughtful and kind comment on any of my youtube videos and also i'll be shouting out any of my friends out there or anyone else who i follow on social media who are crushing it who are working towards their goals their triathlon goals or in general their fitness goals and who can be inspirational to everyone out there as well so shout out section going to be shouting out really this is a part for me to uh to thank you all out there for supporting me and for crushing it doing whatever it is that you do all right so let's get into the show so just to start off the show i'm going to pop open my brew so i'm having one of my favorite beers ever from one of my favorite breweries ever and that is cigar city high Lie. So Cigar City is out of Tampa, Florida, and I actually lived in Tampa for three years. So I have a lot of love. That is a terrible pour. I'm sorry. Terrible pour. Don't judge me. I'll do better in episode number two. <laughs> but yeah, Cigar City Highlight. Love the brewery. This is one of my favorite IPAs. If you're into IPAs, I mean, Cigar City Highlight. Really great uh, example of the style. <sighs> so good. I love this beer so much. All right, so on to training updates. I will say that the coronavirus quarantine has been an interesting time for me as far as swimming, biking, and running. Obviously, I haven't been swimming as all the pools have been closed. The beaches have been closed. So I've just been biking and running here and there. I haven't really been following a strict biking and running regimen or program. But the one thing I've been doing consistently has been weightlifting. I have a gym in my garage, a little home gym with weights, and I've been working out one to two times a week. So at least I've been having that. But I've really been running here and there just three miles. I've been biking 10 miles here and there. However, last week I biked 50 miles, which completely came out of nowhere. Uh, one of my buddies, Alvaro, he's been getting into cycling over the past month and decided to come to Fort Lauderdale to come do a ride with me. And I thought it was going to be around 20, 30 miles, but we were at mile like 20 and decided to go five more miles to make it a 50 mile ride round trip ride. So the ride ended up being 50 miles. I was completely beat at the end of it. Prior to this ride, I'd gone on a 10 mile ride about three days before. And about three days before that, I've done another 10 mile ride. So I usually don't jump into doing 50 mile rides like that. And I wouldn't recommend you all out there to do that either. Just ride 50 miles out of nowhere. But sometimes it happens and I'm glad that I did it because I haven't done that since 2018. I think 2018 is the last time I did about 50 miles on the bike. So been like two years, which is crazy. I'm really motivated now to cycle more, to do more squats, 
because I really suck when going up bridges and stuff. I'm just so weak on like climbing. So I'm really motivated to just start cycling a lot more. For running, I've really just been building up my base for the past couple of weeks. I'm gonna really step it up in June. So little by little, I'm just increasing my mileage. I'm also going to be incorporating a lot more speed days into my training runs because I'm not nearly as fast as I was just a few years ago. So to get faster, I have to train faster. I have to put in those speed days, put in those interval days in those tempo runs. So that's another goal of mine. So all in all, just for the past week and all of really quarantine in general, I've been slowly building up my running base, slowly getting back into cycling. In June, I'm really gonna be stepping it up and I'll tell you why in the next episode. All right, so moving on to shout outs. So my first shout out goes to somebody who left a very nice review on Apple Podcasts for my podcast, The Triathlete Beat. And that goes to Patrick, a.k.a. The Running Ten Man. Patrick, thank you so much for leaving me a review. This is right now the only text review that I have on the podcast. So I really, really appreciate it. Things like this encourage me to keep going with the podcast. So Patrick, thank you so much for the review. And everyone go check out Patrick's Instagram. He is a Tennessee guy who loves to run. I'll link up his Instagram link in the description below. Shout out to Patrick. All right, so my next shout out goes to my most recent guest on the podcast, and that's Kim Armaza. Kim, thank you so much once again for being on the show. If you haven't checked out the podcast episode already with Kim, we discuss her whole journey of how she got into multi-sport last year, and there's a lot of inspirational and uh, great practical tips from that show. So definitely check out that episode if you haven't already. Shout out to Kim Armaza. All right, so my next shout out goes to my high school buddy, Alvaro, thank you so much, man, for riding with me last weekend. Alvaro got into cycling about one month ago, one to two months ago, and he's really been crushing it, just cycling multiple times a week. And uh, he really pushed me last weekend on the 50 miler ride. I will say that I haven't seen this guy in 12 years. We went to high school together. So 12 years later, we ride 50 miles and it was a great time. So Alvaro, thanks for uh, pushing me on that ride. And I'm sure we'll cycle once again. All right, so the last shout out of today's show is to really all of you out there who have subscribed to my channel, who've watched one of my videos, who've commented on the videos, and who've listened to my podcast. I really appreciate you all out there for taking some time out of your day to spend watching my videos or listening to my podcast. It really means a lot to me, and I'm really, really grateful for you. So shout out to you out there who have shown love to this YouTube channel, to the podcast. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So that wraps it up for episode number one of Try Talk in a Brew. I really hope you enjoyed the show. Comment down below if you like this show. Also comment down below any questions that you have for me and I'll answer them in next week's episode. So if you did like this video, don't forget to throw a thumbs up down there with the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you next week's Try Talk in a Brew.